What's up, YouTube? It's your boy APFC. All Arsenal content, but not exclusively. So, today, I am going to discuss the most recent links that we have to Frank Kessie, the AC Milan Ivory Coast midfielder. If you're an Arsenal fan like myself, these rumours regarding Frank Kessi are nothing new. We seem to be linked to him to almost every single window. And wherever these links or reports come from, they clearly see Arsenal, a team that's struggling in the midfield. They see Frank Kessi, who has a lot of potential and has always been linked to a move away to, from the Serie A, from AC Milan. And considering AC Milan are doing as poorly as we are this year, I think they're around 10th as well. Um, they These links seem to always come up. However, the new news is that we have made a transfer inquiry regarding him. I wanted to do a video today to discuss this rumor and to discuss whether we should go in for him or not. As a lot of you are aware, Granite Xhaka is staying till at least the end of the season. Um, but... Kessie seems like a player that I think Arteta not necessarily is looking for him in particular, but he's looking for that type of high-energy midfielder, particularly if Xhaka doesn't stay um, after this season. We're going to need a new midfielder anyway. I think we need a midfielder regardless of if he's staying or is he going. And Frank Kessie is a player that is often discussed with a link to Arsenal. Now, Going through some of Frank Kessie's uh, abilities, so first of all, he's 23 years old and he's been playing for AC Milan, I think for about three seasons or so. AC Milan have had a very indifferent sort of season in the Serie A. Uh, obviously, a couple, two to three seasons ago, they spent quite a lot of money in, in the first transfer window of the season. Things haven't worked out for them. They're still sort of languishing around that mid-table role. Frank Kessie has been a player that has performed well in an average, average season for AC Milan. So he's not your typical defensive midfielder. Frank Kessie, although on paper, yes, he's a defensive midfielder. He has that sort of large frame that a lot of defensive midfielders have. It's very physical. But I think why these links have particularly come up and if we have inquired about him why we have done so is that he offers more so than just the standard defensive midfield roles of protecting and screening the defense yes i think we do need another one of those defensive midfield players but more importantly right now i think we need a box-to-box -box midfielder to complement someone like lucas torreira similarly though we do need another defensive midfielder in case Torreira has gets a long-term injury. I know he's injured now, but as far as I'm aware, it's not long-term. But we do need another one just in case he gets injured or perhaps he leaves because there has been rumours of him leaving Arsenal as well. So I think this is where Frank Kessie may be a perfect fit in the scheme of things that he can push forward and bomb forward, but he can also play that defensive midfield role. Now... What I noticed about Frank Kessie when I have watched him this season and, and when I've done my research for this video, I've watched quite a few clips of them, is that, as I said, not your typical defensive midfielder. He likes to bomb forward. Now, we haven't really had that sort of midfielder replacement for Aaron Ramsey, who was that box-to-box. -box. Now, I'm not in any way, shape, or form saying that Frank Kessie has that ability of Aaron Ramsey. I don't necessarily think he does right now. Probably not really that close either. He's got to add more goals to his game. But you can sort of see that potential that he could have because he loves making those forward runs. I have done a lot of research regarding Frank Kessie and what the Milan's fans think of him. And, you know, at the end of the day, the fans' perspectives are the most important because they're the ones that are watching him week in, week out, is that they do say over the last year to year and a half, he has slowly matured. Initially, when he came in, he lacked maturity of when to make those forward runs and he lacked maturity regarding positional awareness. They're saying that he has really matured over the last maybe year or 18 months or so and he has that ability now to know when to push forward and know when to hold back. He also, they also said that he has that sort of awareness um, of when to play a bit more defensively 
if Milan are sort of the chips are down and they need to play more defensively, he can push back. But you know when they need a goal, he offers that threat going forward because he likes to make forward runs sometimes amongst the attack with the attackers. And I think that's something we need right now. With Kessie, I'm not 100% sure that he's going to be that box-to-box -box midfield answer for us, but he certainly will improve our defence in respect of what he can offer as a defensive midfielder. And under the right guidance, if Arteta can sort of give him that confidence and look to improve him as a player, I don't see why Frank Kessie wouldn't be a good option for us as that box-to-box -box midfielder as well. Reports are coming out of Italy that Frank Kessi is as available as little as 23 million. And if that's the case, I would get him today. Uh, I have my doubts initially when I saw the rumours, simply because Frank Kessi is playing in the Serie A. The Serie A compared to the Premier League, there's been a lot of midfielders that have come in from the Serie A and played in the Premier League and not exactly performed. I can think of players like Alberto Aquilani, who used to play for Liverpool. He came with a high reputation and never fully materialised. You can think of someone right now like Dennis Prayat that went to Leicester. Although he has he did score uh, the other night for Leicester in that 2-1 loss to Southampton. That was his first goal. He hasn't really started as many games and you could argue it's because Leicester is so strong. I think for a lot of these Serie A players it takes a bit of time to adjust to the Premier League. Sort of the same as some of the French League, French League players coming to the Premier League. Nicolas Pepe being... A prime example you know that's currently at Arsenal right now but for 23 million I think we should look to get him obviously there's been speculation that we can only go for transfer loans so if that's the case then if we are going for loan deals you could probably forget about this one happening but Arteta did say if the right option come around comes around they'll look to examine it and I am wondering if Arteta thinks that this could be the right option particularly for as little as the price of 23 million that he's available for um, and the thing is, what he offers is high energy and high tenacity. And when Arteta came in, he did specifically say he wanted a change in energy in the squad. I think midfield energy is something that we've seriously lacked, apart from Lucas Torreira. I know Granit Xhaka isn't necessarily that high energy midfielder. He's more of that sort of uh, defense, deep lying playmaker, or you know, sort of that orchestrator in the midfield. But apart from Torreira and in some respects Guendouzi, we don't necessarily have that high energy. And based of how Manchester City play, they have a lot of high energy in the midfield. I think that's what Arteta is looking to implement with Arsenal. And, you know, what better way with finding a player like Frank Hesse with, you know, a fraction of the price of some of those, you know, players or high energy players that Manchester City have. Not that he's as good as them, but being 22, 23 years old, you know, he definitely has that sort of potential. And as I said, high, high energy, high tenacity, it's something that we re need right now. And because a lot of games this season, we've lost matches in the midfield. You could even argue that we lost the match in the midfield against Palace. We didn't lose the game, but we should have probably won that game. I think we lost a lot of that game in the midfield after Torreira went off. So hypothetically, if we were to bring in Frank Kessie and we played a, maybe a midfield two of either Torreira or Kessie or Kessie or Xhaka or Torreira or Xhaka, if someone like uh, Torreira got injured, at least you sort of have Kessie that can play that defensive midfield role, as well as being that box-to-box. -box. I think what Arsenal has lacked over the last couple of years is versatile players that we can bring in and they come in in multiple positions. That's something that Manchester City have. You can notice a lot of their midfielders can play on the wing and play in the central midfield. I'm not saying Fr uh, Frank Kessie can play on the wing, but he sort of has that ability to fluctuate wherever in the midfield, whether that be defensive mid or as a box-to-box, -box, which box-to-box -box seems to be his sort of preferred position. As I was saying, Milan fans do rate him because how he's matured positionally and making those runs forward. So I think in the right environment, which to be honest with you, Arsenal's environment right now fr from the outsider looking in looks very good. I think it's a good environment for a young player to flourish. And we are seeing that with a few young players now, with Gabriel Martinelli coming to mind. When Doozy has flourished in the last couple of years, you know, Joe Willick has had more game time and whatnot. So it is a good sort of platform for these young players to elevate their game. And I think Arteta has created a real positive culture, which I'm hoping if 
he has done that and created a positive culture. Some of these players come in and just hit the ground running straight away because, you know, you could argue that Grenon Xhaka, if he came into a better environment when he's got signed those three, four years ago, he'd be a much better player now. You could say that about a lot of our players that we've brought in over the last, you know, 18 months to two years. So he's hoping that we can get this one over the line. I would like to see Frank Kessie come in. Um, I think it's a low risk as well. 22, 23 million. It's not that we're, it's not like we're spending 40, 50 million. We're only spending, you know, half of that. So I think based of the sort of midfield, lack of midfield options that we have, it would be a gamble worth taking. Um, and I and I do think we should go for this one. So I'll go I'll keep you guys updated regarding any updates uh, with this because it is, well, a new rumor for this window, but not a new rumor in the scheme of things of Frank Kessie getting linked to Arsenal. I will keep you updated in this and other transfer videos. So thanks for watching my video, guys. Please check out the videos I did yesterday as well. Um, I did a, a transfer update and I did a three center backs Arsenal should look to sign. So please check that out. It is good information. Um, give me any feedback, whatever feedback you may have. Just let me know. And this is APFC, all Arsenal content, but not exclusively. So thanks for watching, guys.